a break from the snow coming our way as Wednesday gets underway. Hey everyone, it's Eric here with Weather for Weather Geeks. It's the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video, and of course we will recap the snow totals from this morning, last night and this morning, and preview the next potential wi winter weather uh, makers in this video. But uh, certainly a better day coming our way on Wednesday. The snow totals at the Youngstown Warren Airport today, 5.3 inches. Now, as is often the case with the number we get from the Youngstown Warren Airport, it seems a little high to me. That being said, um, this was the biggest one-day snow total at the Youngstown Warren Airport in almost four years. It's been since February of 2022 since we've had a number this big in one calendar day at the airport. Now, some storms, of course, straddle a couple of calendar days. They start in the evening and head through the overnight. This was all in one calendar day and 5.3 was the number earlier on today at the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport in Vienna, just north of Youngstown. The snowmaker is now way out to our east. Rain for coastal New England, but heavy snow in parts of interior New England. And snowfall totals have been just about what we expected, not only locally, but regionally as well. Six inch plus amounts common from the southern tier of New York over towards the Hudson Valley around Albany and uh, heading into interior parts of New England. And in our TV viewing area, again, this is pretty well behaved. And, you know, this was one of those situations where amounts were pretty uniform. It wasn't a lake effect situation where we had a big variance across the area. Everyone was generally speaking kind of in the same range. Now it was pretty common to see five inches down towards the Ohio River in southeastern Columbiana County. You notice that airport number doesn't really jive quite as much with some of the uh, you know algorithm, the radar estimates here in Trumbull County. So that you know it's one of the reasons why I think that number might be just a little bit high. But still, we did get plenty of viewer reports of four to almost five inches in much of the area, uh, perhaps especially in Mahoning and Columbiana counties. And here's just a handful of official reports uh, relayed to the National Weather Service today. You can see that this map is very busy, but we just selected a few. So Greenville, three and a half. Craig Beach, uh, Lake Milton area, three inches. Boardman, about three and a half. Now towards Wellsville, East Liverpool, four to five. Pretty common down there, but this is just a small sampling. Surely amounts were a little bit different in many different locations, but generally everyone was kind of in the same band here. It was, you know, three, four, five inches uh, with our snow last night and this morning, and the timing worked out very well with the snow tapering off right around mid-morning. Now, we've been primarily snow-free since that point. I've been watching a little band of flurries off to our west, uh, impacting kind of the I-77 corridor from Cleveland down towards Akron. That's kind of fading away a little bit, but still you might uh, see a couple of renegade flurries somewhere across the area before the evening is through. Now let's talk about our next snowmaker. It's not Wednesday during the day, but it's later Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Now the timing may be kind of similar to what we just dealt with last night and this morning. Now amounts are going to be quite a bit less, but I'm a little bit concerned about people not taking this all that seriously because of the small amounts um, and adjustments will not be necessarily made to a lot of people's plans, but I think you get a half an inch, three quarters of an inch worth of snow right at rush hour Thursday morning could be enough to cause you know some problems on area roads. Our weather modeling here shows under an inch, most of our weather modeling anyway, the graph model that's this kind of blue line is pretty aggressive, but that's an outlier. Most of our modeling insists that this will generally be under an inch late Wednesday night, Thursday morning. I think that's probably the right idea. I think the atmosphere is gonna be pretty dry, not as moisture laden as this morning. You know, this, this snow this morning, it wasn't super gloppy wet, but it wasn't very dry either. It was pretty heavy to shovel this snow out there this morning. Our, our snow to liquid ratios were about 10 to 1, 11 to 1. Pretty typical, but uh, certainly that's, you know, heftier snow to, to move around and to try to shovel than uh, when the snow ratios are more like, uh, you know, 15 or 20 to 1. Um, but still, even if it's, uh, you know, a fluffy half an inch Thursday morning, could there be a few slick spots? Yeah, you bet. So we're going to be focusing on that. We don't want people to be too surprised if, if some surfaces are a little bit slick Thursday morning. A few sunny breaks developing Wednesday afternoon, but here's our Arctic front. And again, snow showers push in after midnight, flurries, snow showers around through maybe 7 o'clock in the morning. This will be a little bit earlier in the morning than what we dealt with this morning. And then the story becomes the cold. The sky will try to clear Thursday afternoon and then especially Thursday night. And with a clear sky and relatively light winds, that's a recipe for good radi radiational cooling. And so I think we're gonna have no problem seeing at least the lower teens by Friday morning. And I think some local thermometers can certainly get down into the uh, into the single digits at daybreak on Friday. The record at the airport, nine degrees set in 1991. So yeah, cold start to the day. 
coming up on Friday. And uh, no surprise, we've got a pretty cloudy forecast for the next seven days. The sunniest day is actually to be Friday. That clear sky Thursday night leading to the cold temperatures will continue for at least half of the day Friday. It may cloud up as the afternoon progresses, and it looks like a pretty cloudy weekend and right into early next week as well. And thanks to meteorologist Gavin Sandell for compiling this data. He was uh, talking in his Weather 101 video today about cloudy season and this part of the country being particularly cloudy in big metro areas. And we define big in this exercise as 1 million uh, people in the general urban area or more. Um, you know, our nearest big cities, if you will, Pittsburgh and Cleveland, two of the top cities as far as total cloud cover throughout the year, only bested by Seattle and Portland in the Pacific Northwest. And then around the Great Lakes, a lot of cloudy cities, of course, around the Great Lakes, including Buffalo, New York, Grand Rapids, Michigan. You could pick out a lot of cities, bigger cities in Michigan, including Detroit, uh, Rochester, New York, downwind of Lake Erie and Ontario, even Columbus, Ohio, not necessarily uh, what you would think of as, you know, immediately downwind from the Great Lakes, but it's close enough that even central Ohio is a pretty cloudy place. And in our area, yeah, at least 200 days per year are pretty cloudy, um, you know, thanks to our proximity mostly to the Great Lakes. Now, uh, the clouds will probably try to thicken up later in the day Friday and uh, a great event in downtown Youngstown. Bundle up if you'll be heading downtown. Hope you'll uh, uh, partake in the festivities, support the downtown businesses Friday evening. Of course, it's the holiday parade and tree lighting and you know, this kicks off uh, in earnest a little before sunset, and then the tree lighting is, of course, after dark. It's going to be cold, but not particularly windy, so the wind chill will not be much different than the air temperatures. And I, I don't think we see any mood snow Friday evening, but uh, certainly it is going to be a cold holiday parade this time around. That's it for me on Weather for Weather Geeks on this uh, Tuesday evening. I'll have an update on that little nuisance event for Thursday morning coming up on Wednesday. Hope to see you then. Have a great rest of your night, and thank you as always for watching.